Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici, I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video we are covering CCNA semester 2, routing and switching essentials, and this is chapter 9, access control list. This is section 9.3, extended IPv4 access control lists. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to explain the structure of an extended access control entry, ACEs, configure extended IPv4 ACLs to filter traffic according to network requirements. For more precise traffic filtering control, extended IPv4 access control list can be used. Extended access control list can filter on source address, destination address, protocol like IP, IPv6, TCP, UDP, and port numbers, source port number and destination port number. If you remember, an access control list, extended access control list, was defined with the numbers. Do you remember the range? Okay, the range is from 100 to 199, or from 2000 to 2699, providing a total of 799 possible extended access control lists. Or we can have a named access control list, which is, well, there's no limit to how many named access control lists you can create. So extended ACLs are used more often than the standard ACLs because they provide a greater degree of control. Extended ACLs provide more precise traffic filtering control, also referred to as increased granular control. All extended ACLs filter on source IP address and destination IP address. But what makes them really special is that they can also filter based on upper layer protocols like IP, IPv6, TCP, UDP, ICMP, EIGIP, source port number and destination port number. For example, for IPv6, they all extended ACLs. Using port numbers, so for example, an access list 114, so we can see the range from 100 to 199, so 114, that tells us it's extended ACLs. And the next command is permit, so we are permitting, uh, one second here, so we are permitting, the port or protocol we're using is TCP. So when we use the TCP, it's gonna we need to identify the port numbers as well. So here, for example, 192.168.20.0 with the wildcard mask 000255. So we are matching the first three octet, 192. That's a that's a match. 168 is that zero here, and 20 is this zero here. So that's the source with any port. As long as they go into any destination, they can go anywhere, as long as they're using equal 23, port 23, like Telnet. The next two lines, the same configuration, just now we are using FTP, port 20 and 21. You could use them like this with the port numbers, or you can actually type like Telnet, FTP, FTP hyphen data. The procedural steps for configuring extended ACLs are the same as the for standard ACLs. The extended ACL is more is first configured and then is activated on the interface. However, the command syntax and parameters are more complex to support the additional features provided by extended ACL. So here we have, for example, we create a numbered access list, yeah? numbered extended ACL access list, and then give it a number. Then we can define, is it deny, permit, or remark? Then the protocol source, for example, TCP. Then port, port number of the source. Destination, destination wildcard mask. And then the port number of the destination. And then established. Established by readers in ACL statement, clients could send the traffic to a web server, but not receive traffic returning from uh, the web server without the established. So with established, we can send the packets towards the web server and you can receive the packets back. If, but the, the, initiating, the, the initiating traffic is gonna be inside your network. If initiating traffic is from outside, then the packets will not be allowed to come back. Extended IP access control list examples. For example, uh, here we are permitting all, net, all packets from any source to any destination. Access is one of one deny IP any to host. So in here we are denying all packets from any source going to specifically to host 10111. Access is one of one deny IP host 10111 any. So we are denying all packets from this host going to any destination. So here the first line we permit in anything going to from anywhere to anywhere, and here we are denying anything 
going to this host or this way we can deny this host going anywhere so protocol port and protocol after destination address refers to the destination port for example access this 101 deny tcp any but we haven't done, defined the port number here so any with any port number and they go into any destination as long as they're using telnet port number so any destination if they're using telnet we're going to deny them or port 23. if you put the the port number beforehand that's going to be the source port any equal telnet so if if the source is telnet going to anywhere okay so if i stop here for one second and i'll, I'll open the notepad um, and i'll try and explain this a bit better okay so here we can look at this for example say this is a pc and destination is gonna go this is the server here okay so if you say access list list 101 deny tcp uh, for example the pc imagine the pc's ip address uh, say 10.1.1.1.100 and the server is 10.1.1.200 right so deny t I, I, access list 101 deny tcp and then host 10.1.1.100 with any port number to host 10.1.1.200 and then equal to uh, 23 so we are denying this host to go to the server if this if they are trying to access port 23 this host the port number of this host could be anything so we don't know if that's the packet going that way if the packet is coming back for example if we uh, if we want to deny as the packet comes back say from the server it's coming back to the PC now we deny the server's host so this will be 200 coming back to host 100 but this equal is going to be the source it's going to be here so you have to remember which which way is the source of the port and which way is the destination port so as the packet coming back from the server that's going to be the source port is going to be 23 okay applying access control extended ACLs to the interface we create an access list so for example we permit in uh, this network 10 network going anywhere as long as they're using port 80 and we permit in a TCP uh, this network the TCP as long as they're using HTTPS and then we permit in returning traffic as long as they're using established without the established parameters in ACL st statement clients could send traffic to the web server but not receive the traffic returning to the, from the web server access 103 permit tcp 192.168.10.0 going anywhere as long as they're using port 80 cool there's a interface g00 ip access group 103 in 103 says they, if they're using a secure web server as well they are allowed to go anywhere and then we create another access list 104 out as long as they have the word established creating named access list is the same thing it's just like in now instead of doing start with access list and give it a number like we did here we just give it a name so if we start IP access list extended surfing then we go inside access list configuration mode and then we say permit the statement and deny statements To verify an access list, show access list, and then it will say to us that we have an extended ACL called browsing and an extended ACL called surfing. And we can verify it on the interface as well, show IP interface G00, and we can see that we have two access lists, one incoming and one outgoing. Editing an extended ACL can be accomplished using the same process as it did in a standard ACL. An extended ACL can be modified using text editor or sequence numbers for example here we made a mistake on the surfing say in the state in the sequence 10 we put 192.168.11.0 which should be 192.168.10 so what we can do we go to that access list the extended ACL called surfing and we say no 10 
that denies sequence 10. And we create a new sequence 10, permit TCP with the correct network address, and it's uh, equal to www. And when we do now show access list, we can see that that has been fixed. Thank you very much for watching this section 9.3, extended IPv4 ACLs. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Next video, 9.4, troubleshooting ACLs. Bye-bye.